welcome students in this video we are trying to work with the practical number 7b what is expected in practical 7b they says that create a web application for to display the phone number of an author using the database so i need to have first of all the uh, author table which consists of author names and authors phone numbers so let us try to check whether i am having any such databases in my sql express or not so i am having few databases over here northwind is also one database which i have but uh, i don't think so this has any authors information so i need to create one more table which consists of author information so i i'm keeping my bsat database and planning to create one new table over here so creating the new table providing the column name like au id author id integer au name that is author name varcat 50 then maybe phone number varcat 50 so author id i am trying to keep it as a primary key so i set it as a primary key and i am saving this table with the name called as authors and interested so why this author table is not displayed don't worry you just refresh it you will find the author tables over here right so i'm adding some few records so author id 1 the author name is abc the phone number is been there find the author number 2 please when you are adding the records please add some good records i am not going to add some good record but you prefer please add up some good records anish and some phone number given by me author id 3 the name as uh, shri and some phone number given by me and such way i will go on what adding those values so now i am having a authors table ready with me. now let us start creating the project for the same so here i am planning to create a new project says file new selecting the option as project and in this i am selecting asp.net web application and selecting uh, asp.net web application given a click on next provide the name of this application as practical 7b given a click on next empty application has been created by us and in this application we need to go for adding the web form first i will complete the connection string part so why the table is not been displayed please refresh it it will definitely get displayed right so on the tables you can find the table as authors the new project has been added first i will go to web.config and completion the work of connection string so after system.web i am adding the tag as connection strings in that i am adding the new connection string with the name as c1 and with the value as what your connection string and the connection string value so i give right click selecting properties and here in the connection string i copy the connection string and paste the connection string over here find the work is been over connection string is been saved now what are the next task which needed we need to add up new web form so add up a new uh, web form over here what next i'm expecting over here one drop down list and one but the drop down list will consist of all the authors name when the user clicks on a button the phone number must be displayed on the label so here i am coming with the drop down list which will be going to display the author names plus i need to have one button plus i need to have a label to display the selected authors phone number so i'm adding the label over here my task has been completed i just changed the text over here as show now this is my drop down list one and this is what my label one i keep the label text as empty label is present but label text is what empty now first thing what i am doing i am coming towards my page load event but before that i just specified the name spaces system dot data and using system dot data dot sorry 
accessedin.data.sql client as well as I am using system.data. Sorry, not system.data, system.web.configuration. Now, here it comes page load. So, the work has to be done only at the initial time, not with every postback. So, I am writing first the code as if not is a postback. So, only at the time of initial request, this code will be executed using the try cache. And what I am expecting, the label must be displaying the text as ex dot message file. The task is over now. First, what I am expecting, I am expecting to establish a connection. For that, I need a connection string. Now, in the last video, we had taken a connection string from web.config stored in a variable and then using that variable inside SQL connection. Now, I am reducing my task by saying SQL connection con equal to new SQL connection in the bracket web configuration manager dot connection strings c1 dot connection So, we can reduce our task. Why to take a separate variable? You can just pass up the string directly into the connection object also. Now, this depends on you. And further, I had implemented the open method for the connection. After the connection has been opened, I need to retrieve the information. So, I am using command. So, I am writing SQL command cmd equal to new SQL command. The query has been passed by me by saying select asterisk from. I need to specify the table name as authors. And the connection object name is con. The command object has been created now. The command should retrieve the record and the record must be passed towards what you are. This is unnecessarily giving me the hint. I don't want it. Fine. And that it should be stored inside the SQL data reader. So I'm using SQL data reader dr equal to cmd dot execute reader. So execute reader will be reading the information passing to the dr. Now, the DR need to be mapped with our drop down list. So, I had mentioned over here drop down list one dot data source equal to DR. And further, I am taking over here as drop down list one dot display text field. What is the property? It is called as Uh, it is data text field. So, I am using data text field equal to the column which I need to use. The column is uh, author's table column. I would like to display a uni. So, I am writing a uni. And uh, there is one more property there that is named as data value field. And for a value field, I am taking the column as phone number. Fine, and then it should be bounded to the data source. So I'm writing drop down list one dot data bind. So data bind will be binding the data source. The task is being completed. Then I need to connection it should be closed. So I'm writing con dot close. So never keep the connection open unnecessarily. And the next what is needed that when the user clicks on a show button. Whatever the author name which is selected, the appropriate phone number must be displayed. So, writing a very simple code by saying label one dot text equal to drop down list one dot selected value. So, let's see whether our task is being completed or not. So, I run the page. Here it displays me a drop down list which consists of all the author's names and a button. When the user clicks on a button, the details are what been displayed on the label. So these are what the list of all authors. I had selected this and given a click on show. The appropriate phone numbers is what been displayed. So this is the easiest program access to so practical number seven. B, right? So, stay tuned with me. I will be also uploading the 7C video immediately. Thank you.